chair of the coordinated action number two of the French Agency for AIDS Research in charge of scientific agenda for uh, lower income countries. Francis, uh, Francois, you have the floor. Thank you, Badara, and good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like to thank the organizers for giving, us, giving me the opportunity to uh, share with you uh, some of the update of uh, what we do with regard of research and prevention, and especially on TASP, uh, with the French National Aid Research Agency. And as you kindly said, I'm sitting uh, as an advisor uh, and coordinator for the Developing Country Research Agen Agency, uh, NRS. Uh, I'll briefly uh, summarize what we uh, organize our uh, activities in, in the South. Uh, just uh, highlight a little bit uh, the NRS contribution to HIV prevention research in general, and then focus on the three trials that um, take most of our resources uh, on the matter uh, at the moment, one in France, the other one in Côte d'Ivoire, and the third one in, in South Africa. Um, NRS uh, has, a, has a limited budget, uh, but uh, spends about a fifth, a little bit more than a fifth of it, uh, on research in, in uh, developing countries, which represent about 12 million euro or 15 million uh, USD uh, per year, not including salaries. So as uh, Ambassador Gusby said yesterday, we need to make smart investment when you have little money, so we focus on as, as much as, as we can on, on selected priority areas. Uh, and uh, we basically uh, today do uh, both clinical research and, and prevention research with a wide range of, of disciplines for epidemiology, clinical laboratory, behavioral and social economic. Uh, we are proud to work uh, in developing countries uh, under the, the, the uh, ch ethics uh, charter that leads our, our work uh, and leads our partnership uh, with uh, our uh, partner uh, countries. So that's something very important that has been in place for, for quite a while. And uh, we uh, f focus a lot of our work on eight countries. The, the, the color, uh, the purple uh, circles uh, on, on the map, uh, in which we have a joint scientific leadership and, and a lot of capacity uh, building, but uh, over the years, uh, other spots have emerged, uh, and especially one of them, uh, South Africa, as, I, as I'll describe uh, later on. Uh, we try to make the best uh, possible use of these uh, sites uh, and projects uh, in, in making uh, networks. Uh, and this is particularly true for uh, virology, uh, where we have a, a working group with both uh, many uh, actors uh, in, in France uh, and in, in Africa and in Asia, and that's particularly important for the uh, viral resistance uh, agenda, research agenda. Uh, finally, um, we not only do uh, research, but we try to get involved at least at the country level uh, with the public health implications, and we are quite proud, for instance, to have extremely involved in the development of the first uh, national control strategy for viral hepatitis in, in Egypt as, a, as an example, but uh, many of us also are quite uh, often uh, asked to sit and participate to uh, uh, panels uh, at WHO, UNICEF and, and UNAIDS, of course. Uh, let me explain to you what uh, we, uh, I mean by the NRS alphabet of prevention. This is not a comprehensive uh, alphabet of prevention, HIV prevention, but this is where uh, we uh, focus in one way uh, or the other. Uh, on medical male circumcision, we are finishing a large-scale uh, impact uh, work study in, in South Africa. On counseling and testing, we uh, just completed and published a, a large randomized uh, trial, uh, international randomized trial on couple counseling. Uh, on harm reduction, there is some new uh, work starting in, in, in Vietnam. Uh, many of you know the long-lasting efforts we did on prevention of mother to child transmission and, and of course on vaccine. But today I will focus a little bit on pre-exposure prophylaxis and uh, the use of antiretroviral uh, treatment. So PrEP. Uh, PrEP has been our uh, primary interest in, in France uh, in the format of one uh, project called uh, Iperge, and I'm, I'm happy uh, that on, on Thursday, I guess, uh, PrEP is also on the agenda of this, uh, of, of this meeting. I will not go back to the rationale of, of why, why PrEP, but uh, give you some context uh, with the results of a survey uh, performed in France uh, last year in which uh, a large sample of gay men uh, had uh, Many of them had heard about PrEP, but uh, 50 of them were ready to use if efficacy would be greater than 90%, and that clearly there was a preference for on-demand uh, uh, PrEP rather than, uh, than daily PrEP. 
So it, this is in this uh, special uh, context that the study design of EPRG was, uh, was put together, uh, and it's an uh, on-demand uh, effectiveness uh, randomized placebo-controlled trial on a high-risk MSM, uh, randomized into two groups, uh, full prevention services plus TDF, FTC before and after uh, sex, versus uh, full prevention services and, and placebo. And the primary endpoint being uh, HIV infection, uh, the estimated sample size is about uh, 2,000. Uh, it's a work in progress, a uh, lot of uh, community, uh, e e gay community uh, involvement in this project. The pilot phase is starting in three sites in France and uh, if not today, very soon uh, in, uh, in Quebec. Uh, and uh, the intent is to look at uh, feasibility, uh, randomization as, as started more than uh, 15 months ago uh, now. And uh, to the best of our knowledge, or to my knowledge, uh, IPAG is the only on-demand uh, PrEP uh, efficacy uh, trial uh, at, at this stage. However, we do not know uh, whether we will uh, do the full uh, trial as uh, funding uh, is becoming a, a critical uh, challenge for full implementation of, of this trial. Moving to uh, the when to start uh, issue, uh, I remind you that uh, the NICE uh, editorial uh, by Kevin and, and Wafa a few uh, weeks ago uh, pleading for uh, more uh, trials or more studies on the when to start uh, issue in, in, on the African uh, continent, uh, arguing that the start trial in particular was mostly uh, enrolling uh, patients uh, else, elsewhere in the world, although they have some African uh, patients. Uh, NRS has such a trial, it's called a Temprano uh, trial, it looks like an uh, early initiation uh, of ART and and or NIH prophylaxis on, on, and the impact on clinical uh, outcomes. It includes patients with a relatively wide range of uh, CD4. I know CD4 is no longer interesting, but still, uh, in this case, that, that's worth uh, between, so it's between three, 350 and 800. Uh, and uh, um, you have uh, four groups, it's a factual design. Uh, the first two uh, groups are uh, ARV according to WHO criteria. The other ones are immediate uh, ART uh, initiation and it's plus or minus INH uh, uh, six months uh, prophylaxis. The length of the trial is uh, 30 months and the primary outcome is death or severe uh, morbidity. So uh, Temprano is clearly a 100% African uh, uh, trial. Uh, it has been enrolling in one country, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, a fairly large number of subjects between 350 and 800 CD4. Uh, randomization has been uh, finished uh, quite, quite a while ago uh, and within a year or year and a half uh, the trial should be uh, finished. Uh, and uh, of course uh, as a sub-study uh, uh, it will explore uh, consequences on transmission uh, within uh, corpus. I'll finish by uh, uh, moving to the uh, treatment prevention uh, agenda uh, at the agency. Uh, it's in the format of one trial, the, the TASP, uh, what we call the TASP trial, 12 to 49. Um, just to highlight the fact that this afternoon there is a session on study updates in which we will not uh, present because I had the opportunity to present the methodology uh, this, uh, this morning. Uh, so it's a cluster randomized trial uh, performed in, in, South, uh, in South Africa. Uh, it's a joint venture of uh, the Africa Center for Health and Population Studies uh, and my uh, institution uh, in, in France, in, in Bordeaux, uh, uh, as leaders, uh, together with NRS and, and partners. And I'll just highlight a few elements of, of the protocol uh, at this stage. The protocol uh, was developed uh, since uh, September 2009, uh, approved in 2010, and it's a phased uh, approach project in which we have a pilot phase of two years, two and a half years, uh, starting mid-2011 and going to the end of 2013. And, and we uh, really are focusing on acceptability of feasibility of this intervention at both individual and community levels, which for us remain uh, unknown uh, parameters uh, at this stage. But in this phased approach, there will be an expansion phase in 2014, 15, and possibly uh, 16. Uh, um, I am one of the co PIs with uh, Marie Louise Newell. Uh, the two coordinators are here in this room. And Bernard Hirschel, who was one of the uh, key uh, leaders in the uh, early days of, of TASP, has accepted to be the chair of our uh, scientific uh, advisory board. Uh, Patrick Kenny is the chair of the uh, AIDS uh, control uh, pro program in France and is uh, the chair of our DSNB. Uh, the drugs will be uh, provided uh, by uh, Merck for this, uh, tr for this uh, trial. 
and we have assembled both in South Africa, in France, and, and elsewhere, uh, a sort of a multidisciplinary team uh, because we feel, especially in the first uh, phase, that we need to look at several uh, aspects uh, to uh, really uh, fully address uh, feasibility and, and acceptability. So the, the overall uh, primary objective of the, uh, the trial is to directly estimate the effect of ART uh, when it's initiated immediately after the diagnosis of infection and irrespective of CD4 criteria uh, and to uh, look at this effect at the, at the general uh, population uh, level uh, in, this, uh, in this setting. And clearly in this first phase in which we are uh, in, in progress at the moment, we are really focusing on acceptability and feasibility, as I said uh, earlier, but we want also to validate and update the parameters uh, of the model that we have used to, to estimate the sample size and HIV incidence. We are fortunate to work in a community and in a population in which there was fairly good uh, documentation to begin with, but however, all of this will be uh, updated as we uh, progress uh, in the trial. So the, the trial has two components. Uh, the component one is the, the, the prevention and testing strategy that applies to both uh, arms. Uh, in addition to the usual uh, activities that have been taking place uh, there, including also recent ones such as circumcision services, we do uh, intensive uh, home-based uh, regular uh, home-based HIV testing uh, with a six-month uh, round to begin with, then repeated uh, four months rounds uh, in these uh, community to offer uh, testing and subsequent services uh, at, uh, at home uh, level. The component number two uh, divides into the control arm and the intervention arm. Uh, in the control arm, uh, the ART is offered uh, according to national guidelines, and at the moment, uh, these are listed here. It may change in South Africa, but uh, we will uh, adapt uh, accordingly. Whereas in the intervention arm, we offer a universal uh, immediate uh, ART uh, initiation. Uh, so this phase one deals with uh, two times five clusters, so 10 uh, clusters all together. And a cluster is a population of about 1,000 a uh, a, a people um, in, a, in an area where the prevalence has ranged between 20 and 24 uh, percent uh, for uh, many, uh, many uh, years. Um, so to uh, have a little bit of uh, results, I will invite you to stay until uh, the late afternoon uh, session uh, in which uh, Colin C. Wuji uh, will uh, present uh, the first findings uh, that we have uh, in the middle uh, of our uh, feasibility, uh, phase one uh, phase uh, at, at this stage. So to sum up uh, and to finish, but I can't move anymore. Okay, there is only the, my conclusion slide. Why does it work? Okay, uh, I was going to say, uh, that uh, really uh, NRS is really uh, quite involved in HIV prevention research. And I would like to uh, use one of the quotes of yesterday, a session that really uh, for us, uh, treatment is prevention as, is as far as uh, research uh, in cons is concerned. We really welcome uh, the, the workshop organizers and, and Julio in particular for, for designing such a place uh, for sharing uh, information exchanging information and that more as more research is ongoing, we probably need, need more and more uh, of these uh, type of venues uh, to exchange uh, our uh, experience uh, and to uh, improve uh, partnerships between researchers and between uh, agencies. <laughs>